Hey guys, welcome back to episode three. I just want to say thank you again for watching. I literally am still so astounded that people are, you know, watching these. I had no idea the potential to change lives that someone simply recording themselves talking to a camera could, could have. And I just want to say thank you for um, taking the time to watch these. It literally means the world to me. Um, before I get started, I just want to say that this is something that I talked about um, actually just before this whole season of uh, this whole coronavirus thing started. And it was literally um, two days before they canceled uh, school at Oakland. So it was that Monday because they canceled on a Wednesday here. And I had the privilege to to speak at a um, at a one culture worship night at Oakland's campus. And I'd never done it before. I had never been to one, so I had no idea what to expect. But they just said, hey, keep it quick, keep it short, and let God do the talking. So that's what my goal here tonight is too. But I'm gonna make a little twist to it. So if you've ever seen the movie Facing the Giants, this is where the reference comes from. There was a story told in that movie of two farmers, um, both tending their fields. Now the problem was their fields had no water. It had been a drought for many months before and the outlook and the forecast had many, many more months coming in the future of, of more drought. So the outlook was really bleak. It was very grim. No one, no one was hoping for rain. But both of the farmers claimed to be believers and both of them would claim that they had faith that if they believed and if God said he was gonna send the rain, that he would send the rain. When they felt the urge that God was gonna send the rain, only one of them acted upon that urge during this dry season. The other one didn't. And lo and behold, that night, guess what happened? It rained, but only one farmer had readied his field to receive the rain. We're all in our own dry season right now. It might not be called a dry season, it might be a dark season. It might be a lonely season. It might be a scared or nervous season. Maybe one full of anxiety. Maybe one full of hope. All I can say is that every dry season has to end in rain. Because if it didn't rain, it would still be a dry season. Both farmers experienced the end of the dry season. Just one of them experienced so much more and gained so much more in the terms of blessings, in the terms of a yield on what he put out. So today I wanna to encourage you to be the farmer who readies his field. We're all in this really dark, really lonely, really challenging season. And I think, personally, if we start spending more time with God, if we start lifting up others, if we start pouring ourselves out to God and let him fill us up, when the time comes for a change in season, whether that's for a harder season or that's for a better season, who's to know? but we will be like that farmer who readied his fields for the rain that God is sending. There's a verse in John, actually, John 16, 33. This comes after uh, Jesus is talking about so many ma amazing and wonderful things. He speaks of uh, how he is the way, the truth, and the light in a couple chapters prior. He also speaks of how he's the true vine and how he promises that we're gonna receive the Holy Spirit when he leaves. But then he also speaks of the hatred of the world and of the darkness and how we can find our own joy through that. And this, 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 uh, this verse is coming just before he's taking away to be questioned and crucified for sins he didn't commit, for things that we did. And I think that's really fitting for this time of, time of year right now with Easter right around the corner. He says in verse 33 of John 16, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. We can find peace in God. There's so much anxiety, there's so many things to be worried about. Family, health, <laughs> lack of interaction. So many things, our family getting on our nerves, literally anything that you can think of, you can find peace in Jesus. He says so right there. It's not the only time he ever says it. But he also says, in this world, you're going to have tribulation. Tribulations, hardships. It's taxing. It's trying times. 
I feel like we're in a season of tribulation right now. At least I can tell you I am. But then it says, even though, it says, but take heart for I have overcome the world. We can find peace, but we can also find hope and courage and good cheer and boldness all in the fact that Jesus has overcome this. He has overcome this world. So what do we have to fear? Nothing. So in this season, prepare for whatever battle, prepare for whatever future that God may or may not be sending. But prepare, grow in your relationship, reach out, love others, spread that daily light, be an encouraging light to others. Because if and when you do, you will reap the benefit further on. For God doesn't see, or God, God doesn't not see the things you do. Be a good kingdom worker. Love on others. Encourage them. Support them. Love your family. Love your friends. Check in on them. Read more of the Bible. Journal more. Spend some more time with God. Use this season of, of time when you're kind of forced to be alone and with your thoughts to change your thoughts, change your outlook, and change yourself to be so much better for Christ, to be so much more like Christ. That's my encouragement for you today. So with that, let's pray real quick, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you for all that you are and all that you do and all that you give us, God. Thank you for the blessing of your son, Jesus, who died on that cross to save us of our sins. Lord, thank you that he endured the world and that he overcame it so that we can find peace and hope and joy in him, Lord. Help us be a light to others in these trying times, Lord. Help us prepare our fields for whatever rain you're sending so that when, not if, but when you send that rain, Father, we are ready to jump ahead, to, to, to ignore the lies of this world, to ignore the fear in others, and be that loving wave of people your loving wave of people, your light, your goodness that can infect so many others as we go out, God. Lord, we love you and we thank you. And I thank you for this opportunity to be speaking to people right now, Father. Thank you for using this for your own glory. Lord, give us a wonderful rest of our day today and help us spend some more quality time with you. I ask all these prayers in your name, God. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching again today. It's You guys are such a blessing to me. Hearing from you, hearing your prayer requests, your comments, the good news, the bad news, I love it all. I just want to hear more of it. So if you have anything, please reach out to me. But with that, I'll let you have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. See ya. Bye.